Looking at the problem on the board, let's see how we can move on to calculate. If a is minus 14 minus 10, b is 6 minus 2, we are supposed to calculate the coordinates of the points which divide this line segment AB into 4 equal parts. Now children we know without putting this word problem in diagrammatically, it is unable to calculate into how many ever parts a segment is divided into. So the first starting will be to pen down the problem diagrammatically. So this is segment AB. It is dividing it, the points lying on this line segment is dividing the segment into four equal parts. So we should know definitely how many points lie on this line segment. So let's check. One, two, three. So three points can be plotted on this line segment dividing line segment into four equal parts. Now you can see I made some signs crossing these line segments. What do they mean? They resemble that they are identical marks and identical marks prove that those parts are always equal or congruent. That means if we assume these points as P, Q and R. The ratio of AP, PQ, QR, RB are all equal. That is 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 is the entire ratio for all the three points dividing this line segment. We are supposed to calculate the entire coordinates of point P, Q and R. What is given? Only the coordinates of point A. That is minus 14, minus 10. Coordinates of point B, 6, minus 2 are given. We are supposed to calculate the coordinates of P, Q and R. Looking into the problem first, let's assume that the coordinates of point A are x1, y1, point B as usual, x2, y2. Now children, what is easier to calculate? Again, as I have said, stated already that you can use the correct method. You have entirely alternative methods to calculate any single problem in maths, provided you use the correct logic. If you see children, you can first calculate either P or Q or R. But in that case, your formula differs. If you want to calculate point P, then you'll have to use section formula. In that, you'll have to first see what is the value of m is to n. So, AP is to PB will be 1 is to, PB will be 1 plus 1 plus 1, that is 3. So, m is to n ratio will be 1 is to 3. Then you can calculate by using section formula the point P. If it is point R that you want to calculate first, then the values of m is to n ratio changes. How? Let's check. If you want to calculate R, the ratio of M is to N will be from A to R, R to B. So A to R, 1 plus 1 plus 1, that is 3 is to 1. That means M is to N will be 3 is to 1. Right? And then you can calculate the coordinates of point R, X, Y by using the section formula. And what is the section formula? X is equal to MX2 plus NX1 upon N plus N and y is equal to ny2 plus ny1 upon m plus n. But children, I do not want to calculate point P first, neither point R first. I will logically go in to calculate point Q. Why? Because what is important when we sit for an exam, we have stipulated time, we have to use our logic and check into solving the problem by using the correct technique within less time. So why will I go in? To calculate point Q first because I'll be saving my energy and time and the number of steps involved in solving that problem. Let's check out. Why do I go in again for this point Q? Let's check. If we check point Q, point Q, is it the midpoint of segment AB? Let's check. If I want to calculate Q first, the ratio of M is to N will be AQ is to QB. 
What is the ratio AQ? Let's see. 1 plus 1, that is 2. And QB is 1 plus 1 again, that is 2. That means the ratio M is to N is 2 is to 2. And when M is to N are equal in ratios, do we have to go in for that bigger section formula? Definitely not. We will be using the midpoint formula, which I think saves a lot of number of steps to move on to calculate the answer. So, first to move on, I will calculate point Q so that I can use an easier formula that is the midpoint formula. So, let's assume the coordinates of X will be X and Y. So, to calculate the coordinates of which point of point Q using the mid point formula. Right? Now what is the midpoint formula? x is equal to x1 plus x2 upon 2. Let me substitute it. Do we know x? Definitely not. So x is equal to x1 that is minus 14 plus x2 is 6 upon 2. Let's calculate further. x is equal to. Now, 1 has a negative sign, 1 has a positive sign. So let's subtract my 14 minus 6 is plus 8 or minus 8. The answer, let's find out. The greater number is 14, the sign before it is minus. Definitely the answer gets a negative value. Upon 2. Can we reduce? Yes. 2 ones are 2. 2 twos are 4. Therefore, x is equal to minus 4. So, this was easier, children. Instead of using the section formula, I use the midpoint formula. So, x is equal to minus 4. To move on with, in calculating y, y is equal to same midpoint formula, y1 plus y2 upon 2. Thus, y is equal to y1 minus 10 plus y2 is minus 2. Let's put a bracket so that we avoid errors in solving problems. y is equal to minus 10. Open the bracket. Plus into minus is minus upon 2. Both with a negative sign but Definitely, children, we are not performing the operation of multiplication. So, we have to either add or subtract depending upon the signs. Same as you do, plus 10 plus 2 is plus 12. Same goes for negative numbers when you add up. So, minus 10 minus 2 will give you 12 with the common sign minus upon 2. 2 ones are 2 six. So, y is equal to minus 6. So, the Value of y is equal to minus 6, which are penned on the board. So now, let's move on to find out P and R. Again, children, can I use the midpoint formula? Think. Or have I to use the section formula now? Either to find P first or R first. Definitely, children. If I have to find out P, I will reduce my segment to AQ. I know the points of A. I know the coordinates of point Q. Right? And what about this point P if I have to find it out first? Let's check the ratio. Definitely it is 1 is to 1. So definitely I can use the midpoint formula. But over here, let's change the assigned coordinates. A will be X1, Y1. Q will be x2, y2 and the coordinates of p will be x, y. Again, by using the midpoint formula to find out the x coordinate now for point p. Definitely if you want, you can find out point r on the same grounds. So, 
x we have to calculate x1 is minus 14 plus x2 is with a negative value minus 4 upon 2. So x is equal to minus 14 plus or minus gives us minus 4 upon 2. Again I told you when you have negative values you have to add but with the negative sign minus 14 minus 4 gives us minus 18 upon 2. Let's reduce 2 ones are 2 nines are so x is equal to minus 9. So over here let me pin down the value of x coordinate of point P as minus 9. Now to calculate the y coordinate let's change the formula in order to calculate y coordinate y1 plus y2 upon 2. Substituting y will be equal to y1 that is minus 10 plus y2 minus 6 upon 2. So y is equal to minus 10 plus or minus gives us minus upon 2. Again minus 10 minus 6 gives us minus 16 upon 2. Let's reduce 2 by the 2 eights. So y is equal to minus 8. y is equal to minus 8. So we have got the values of point P by using segment AQ and the midpoint formula. What about point R? Again children I have told you it depends upon the way you see the problem and try to solve it. If you take AP then it will be AR upon RB 3 is to 1 and you will have to go in for the section formula. Definitely at this point children you can use the subsegment PB also. And PR this to RB will be 2 is to 1. Right? And over here then again you will have to use section formula. But children definitely as I have told you think Look at the problem and use the correct alternative method. So over here we can use the midpoint formula again. Why? Which subsegment will you consider? You will just consider QB because the ratio is 1 is to 1. So instead of going M is to N is the equal ratio. So you can definitely go in for the midpoint formula to get the value of X and Y. But let's, depending upon the subsegment QB, let's Change. We are considering only the segment QB. So for Q, let's assign the coordinates as X1, Y1. For B, X2, Y2. And we have to calculate the value of coordinates of point R by using the midpoint formula. So let's calculate x will be equal to x1 plus x2 upon 2. x is equal to x1 plus x2 upon 2. Therefore, x is equal to now x1 will be substituted with the value minus 4 plus 6 upon 2. Therefore, x is equal to 6 minus 4 gives you 2 upon 2. Therefore, x is equal to 2 ones are 2 ones are. So, x is equal to 1. Value of x is 1. Right? Now, to calculate the value of y, let's change the midpoint formula as y is equal to y1 plus y2 upon 2. So y will be equal to y1 is again minus 6 plus minus 2 upon 2. Let's open the bracket. Minus 6 plus into minus is minus 2 upon 2. 
Again in the numerator, minus 6. Minus 2 gives us minus 8 upon 2. Let's reduce 2 minus up to 4. Thus, y is equal to minus 4. So, children, the entire problem you saw was based on only one formula, that is midpoint formula. So, what do you conclude? Therefore, therefore, the coordinates of points trisecting the three points that is the coordinates of points dividing segment AB into four equal parts are P minus nine minus eight Q minus four minus six and R 1 minus 4. So this is the way we calculated the answer for these three points which has divided segment AB into four equal parts.